Hello friends, today we're going to learn how to build a kernel. It's going to be a very simple kernel. A kernel is the very base level of an operating system and will manage the basic resources of any other computer program. The kernel is a fundamental part of modern computer operating systems. To build a kernel, we're going to need four things. A cross compiler, a boot file, the kernel itself, and a linker. First, we're going to learn what a cross compiler is. A cross compiler is the same as a regular compiler, except that it doesn't know which operating system it's going to compile to. For example, a regular compiler would assume that everything is like their own operating system and will be depending on all the libraries that come with the operating system. You will not be able to correctly compile your operating system without a cross compiler. It's that important. To build a cross compiler for our new Magikarp OS, we need to recompile the compiler so that it doesn't rely on any of the libraries of our old operating system. Once we have our cross compiler, we can finally move to the meats and potatoes of the kernel. From there on, we need three more things. Imagine when you want to build a new home for our new Magikarp OS. The boot file would be like the water our fish needs to live in. Our kernel would be the fish, and the linker would be the fish tank that holds both our fish and the water together. From a practical standpoint, the boot will load our kernel, the kernel file is of course the kernel itself, and the linker will ensure that both files work well together. So, how do we make this? First, we need the boot file. It's written in assembly and will help us to set up the environment for the operating system and run high-level languages on it. Let's take a short look at our boot file. If we want to dual boot magic ARPOS with other operating systems, we'll have to set up some magic numbers into memory. This is called the multi-boot header and will allow us to use a bootloader like RUP to start our operating system. Next, we need to set up the stack so we can continue with C for the rest of the project. Finally, we call the kernel, but we have no kernel yet, so we need to create the kernel file to start up our magic ARP OS. The first thing to do on our kernel is to make a terminal and do our precious hello world. We are using C to write our kernel, but it's not the C that we're all used to. Yeah, right. Like anyone actually knows C here. This version of C doesn't have any OS standard library on it. In fact, we don't even have booleans yet. We can only use libraries that the processor provides for us, and lucky for us, the processor provides us with a boolean header. To write on screen, since there is no printf or any standard library for us to work with, we need a pointer to start at this address. And anything that's written there will start appearing on screen. And last but not least, the linker. The linker is a file that joins both previously created files into our final kernel program. Once we have written our linker file, we can use our cross compiler to link both files using this command. That's all we need to make a simple kernel, and these are the results.